Hey everybody, welcome back. E4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Arumba, Quill, and Mathis. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hey there. All right. Let's get it on. Let's get, get it on. on. <laughs> hey, it's a uh, YouTuber karaoke night. <laughs> it is Friday. Um, yeah, this is the last one of the video. Or the week for us, so we're all getting kind of Probably there. the last one of the month if Mathis gets his oh way. Oh my god! Come <laughs> it's on. pretty pretty likely, yeah. I didn't have so. a choice, you motherfuckers. <laughs> I'd say that Mathis is probably gonna be like you know, he, what do you what he did last week was he's like it's like Thursday, like what what not even a yeah, day. Yeah, something before. came up he, on Thursday. He, he's just like, Yeah guys, I can't do it. Yeah. yeah Out I, of blue. Yeah. Scumbag Mathis. Yeah. Mm. Uh, all of Ryan's audience believes I'm a scumbag anyway. It's because you show up 37 minutes late for things. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my phone looks dead! I'm <laughs> sorry. Right. I hate you all. Don't blame me. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to war right now. Assassin's Creed Burger. I'm gonna go to war right now, yeah. The time has come. And so have I. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, subjects. Look at this. I have two subjects now in the Liberty Desire, which used to be like over 100 for a little while. Or at least 100. Like 98. Is now below 20%. God wow. Right. My vassals. The old one, the first vassal, still has, like, unlimited aggressive expansion against me. It's going to take 50 years to burn it away. And since I can't Royal Mary, it's going to be that much longer to get someone. To get them uh, annexed. Well, it's going to take 400 days to send a colonist for this mission because he's going to go all the way around Africa. Or South America. Because <laughs> the port is apparently on the other side of the province. God, that's so stupid. Whatever, I'm not going to do that mission. <laughs> that's just dumb. So how about that 66% religious turmoil problem? Still climbing? Yeah, still still going up. It's going up by one per month. I'm getting kind of nervous. But, maybe. I think with the next conversion I'll probably uh, avert the disaster. But I heard that uh, disasters don't tick down anymore. They'll stay. So if I ever have religious problems again, it will fire. Oh, wow. wow. That's interesting. Yeah, so like if I'm at 67%, let's say I end at 80%, then the next time... My religious unity goes down. Like, it's just going to pop just like that. So, when I embrace Reformate, Reformed or whatever. Because I'll probably do that. I don't know. Maybe. Can you just swap again? Yeah, why not? You know? Couldn't hurt. Well, maybe. Still feeling rather silly for taking my military leader when that I only did that to try to force the Reformation to happen. And Oh, that's right. Yeah, like 20 year elections or something. What's Ibadi? Another kind of Muslim? Ibadi is a Muslim heresy, Sunni heresy. Hmm. Yeah, Shia and Ibadi are kind of like Orthodox versus Catholic versus Coptic. Right. Yeah, well, that's handy. Another another heretic to, to crush later on. Feels good. Definitely taking those religious ideas. Fortunately, I just cored a crap ton of stuff that's got that had like the increased coring cost as well. So, my admin points. A crisis was averted. Yay! We're good. Congrats. What's your religious unity? Uh, right now it's at eighty-four percent. I'm at war with someone, and yet still people are leaving the coalition against me. It's like a, the greatest win-win situation of all time. <laughs> Don't give me that like pity laugh. <laughs> Was it wasn't a pity <laughs> laugh. It was a true giggle. <laughs> no, not you too. That's the best I could laugh with my throat the way it is. Fair, that's fair. I can understand that. Couldn't just guffaw. Oh, hey, coalitions, there we go. You got a coalition springing up on you? Yeah, well, it's true that I have no manpower right now. Oh, okay. Well, the fact that Corson just jumped in, that's pretty fucked up. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. That's actually ultra bad. Who did? 
Oh, of course oh yeah, all right, I see them. They're like spindly and spidery. Basically, oh, the timorids. Yeah. Are they like super powerful though? Let's take a look. They're number one in score, I think. They're up there anyway. Corserin. They have 55,000 men right now. But their manpower is only 800. So if you can somehow pick apart their army, they can't really reinforce mm -hmm. it. And I have a very large standing army. I don't have any manpower. So you're kind of equal in that regard. I just went and uh, invested in a few mercs to keep them around just to buff my effective uh, military strength. At least the illusion of it. I have a lot yeah. of money, so I have like tons of potential to just murk it out and win. <clears throat> money is good. There we go. It you guys like marketplaces? Yep. Yeah, marketplaces are good. Alright. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do now, at least. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, I, I went to build a marketplace, and in one of the areas, it was like, this will give you like an extra, like, 19 trade power or something. That's pretty good. <laughs> like, I'm just like splayed out here, just spread out in sort yep. of lewd That's fashion. how you were with, uh, I used Taya. Yeah, and, and I'm way. starting to fall into the uh, the vassal trap again, but not really. They're, they're very small, and I do plan on absorbing them as soon as I can. Now, didn't you do, like, eight vassals or something for a while? Well, yeah, because it was awesome. Because, like, you know, every really... desire didn't stack with each other. You can't do that shit anymore. <laughs> it's probably for the I, best. I like playing in that region that you're in right now. That was fun when I played as, uh, Najd. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It's a good area. It's oh. fun. I like the trade and all that. There's a Brumbia. Nizni's coming after you. Good. Good. Well, not you, but... I'm uh, glad to see that my former... I'm like, I'm like that, um... Like, one of those little water creatures, whatever they're called, like the lobsters that shed their skin and like come out, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you see the thing crab or something? Where, yeah, they come out and they like, they just wriggle out of the shell and it, blech, it's gross. It's cool though. <laughs> yeah, the sea is pretty disgusting. Yeah. Seafood tastes bad too. No, no that's bad. just not true. I was going to say, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> um. I'm still go waiting boats. to go to the East Coast and have a proper Mick Lobster roll one day. Mick Lobster roll. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, in the Canadian Maritimes, they have the Mick Lobster. Yeah. <laughs> Only when it's in season. Like, I didn't believe it when someone told me when I went to Nova Scotia. I was like, that's bullshit. And we're like, nope, we're going to a McDonald's. <laughs> and we go in and ask for it. They're like, oh, lobster's not in season. We couldn't possibly serve you one. I'm like, what? Okay. Not only does McDonald's have lobster rolls, but they have standards for them. <laughs> like, all right, I'm impressed. I just saw it, Mathis. You asked for military access in Finlandia, and he said no. Is no, that, right? that was Marathis. Oh, okay. Not like Mathis. A, yeah, that Mathopolis. A, come on. I thought the same thing at first. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> Let's see. Second, I can six more ships before I'm at my ship limit. So, I've had it up the year with your ship, honestly. Aha. 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 Good one. A better Rumbia? You want well, You want military? Sure. No. Why do you want military access through me? I don't. Then why are you asking? I'm not. Better I'm Rumbia just asks for military access. I'm offering you military access. Go away. Why would I want military access? Because <laughs> reasons. What, you want my... my uh, Diplomatic like limits up and over the max. No, right. that would be interesting for you to have military access. That's all. <laughs> all the way <laughs> across the world. I like that it's an option though. I Come visit. Want to drop go. off some troops. We've got a whole <laughs> booming tourism industry. That would be hilarious. Make these little drinks with coconuts. It's awesome. Little umbrellas in them. Of course, makes it taste uh, better. Clearly. There you go. I'm going to take some better relations over time, guy. Burn off some aggressive expansion. Yeah, this new coalition system is, is fun. I mean, it's dangerous. And obviously, it makes it harder to just conquer the entire world. But it's a good mechanic. I still think it could be better. One be simple change. Mm -hmm. One simple change. 
Right now, you can't join a coalition if you have a truce, which is good. The problem is, if you attack the coalition as it's forming, you'll have two separate coalitions. And I really feel like if you have no truce, you could join the coalition, and there's an active coalition war against the target, you yeah. should be able to join a war in progress. I see what you're saying. Because otherwise, the, the simple solution still is to just attack the coalition. Every time it forms, attack it. Right. And then, and then they can never do anything. You can, you can attack once per month. Every country. It's pretty simple to shut it down. Yeah, just cycle properly. You know, the week's not over yet, but I feel like it's been a very, very strong week for Finlandia. I think, I think you're right. It's, well, this is the most positive I've felt in a long time, I think, about uh, my U4 play. You're wrapping around Thuringia, going to give them a hug. They're <laughs> almost, they almost have a positive opinion of me. And once that's done, like mm. they're going to leave the coalition. They have no allies, and they're <laughs> just swallowed up. Just sucking up to them until the point where you can properly attack them. I'm not even sucking up to them. That's the best part is they're just like, over time, they're just like, eh, they're not so bad. They're just these guys, you know? <laughs> That's how Thuringians talk. Yeah, definitely. Sure, he can do it and it's not racist. But when <laughs> I do an accent... <laughs> I'm Canadian. No one hates Canadians. Except environmentalists these days. Yeah, valid. So what, what has your base tax grown up to on the line? How big is your country now? basically don't know how to check that yes you do we do this like <laughs> i go to economy f13 it's right f1 on that page economy yeah it'll show in the bottom left it's like 242.5 wow it's pretty good i have not much not that much 66 i have 115 and quill laughs as he has like 600 <laughs> oh hold on uh, economy tab in the ledger is that what you said no yeah no, Not just in your thing, yeah. Um, two sixty one. Oh, you're a little ahead. I was getting score. I have nine whole points now. I'm not getting score anymore. She makes me sad. Eighty two percent. What else do you own? That's all right. I don't care. Are you singing singing the song? Yeah, that's a lot of money. I'm gonna take the money in case someone declares war on me. Take the money and run. There's a thousand gold versus like plus fifty percent tax income or trade, I guess it was. Which is like Sweden pretty damn good. Is now Protestant. Sweden, also known as uh what's that one that spawns? Sard Sardinia Piedmont. Oh, these scums have the Faroe Islands or something. I didn't even notice. Or the Shetlands. I have no idea what they are. Yeah, it's the Shetlands. Mm -hmm. That can be hard to dislodge. That was annoying. Ah, Micmac. Although, guy. it's important to take it. If you're in a war, make sure to take the islands now because you can't really fabricate on them later if you have any, any desire to ever have them. I think I'm going to give the islands to Micmac. And then I'll, I'll annex the rest of the country. Right, okay. Hmm. Serbia, you're looking kind of kind of tasty, I'm not going to lie. You have no allies anymore, so I don't know what happened there. Mm, I could really go for a Serbia right now. Mm-hmm. What happened to, to Haynut? Didn't you go what? to war with them? I was at war with their allies. Oh, uh, okay. So I just went over there to crush them and take some money and force them to pay me over time. Left them alone, though, because there was no way I was going to be able to connect with them. And I don't want to deal with that bullshit. Just let you know, I know the timer's going to go off soon. I might need, like, five minutes. To well, we, have, we have five minutes before this. the timer goes off. All right. Yeah. We'll, Just, we'll see how good my AI is at taking out this, or my ally is at taking out this siege. Just, you just need to relax. It's gonna, we, no, got, I'm we, sorry. Got, we got time. I didn't we realize. Got... I was in another world. We have time. Of Warcraft. Dead at the time. You'll be fine. Oh, is that Eddie Izzard? <laughs> well, the dead, you know, for tax reasons is Hitchhiker, but yes, I was, I was in the dead of time. I was on the moon with Steve. Yeah. Or whatever it goes. God, that's funny. And the edit, Eddie Izzard jokes really do work with EU4 as well. Do you have a flag? Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I come from Europe, you know, where the history's from. <laughs> 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 he says something like, um, you know, this, this, this building was restored to how it looked over 50 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> ah, you did the voice well. <laughs> uh, Oh, that's great. I gotta watch that now. That's um for anyone that's wondering, it's Eddie Izzard. Uh Is that the one in San Francisco? That's no, one of my favorites. No. I think it was um I could swear the word black is in the title, but I can't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. This of Eddie. They tell us of product Protestantism. It's one of the most one of the most popular ones. You search like Whatever website you'll find it. Protestantism entrenched. Nizhny Novgorod. Oh, they attack. switched? Apparently. Oh, yeah, they're attacking Arumbia, Arumbia now. I don't see any with the word black in it. What do you mean the total peace the total peace cost of their promises is too great? It's a hundred. It's like a hundred point zero one or something. There's dress to kill what? is one of his best ones. I think that's the that's one. it. That's, That's the one it, in yep. San Francisco. So. Okay, yeah. Just to kill. I don't know why I thought the word black was in it. He's got a couple. He's got like a bunch of them. He's oh, changed yeah. a lot as a comedian since he was... I remember like watching some of his stuff when he was like not very clearly a transvestite. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I he know. just was like... like, he he saw like a normal... Everyone just grows a little bit more. Yeah, he, he just looked like a normal dude. And he was still really funny. I don't really care. An his action tra transvestite. Yeah. <laughs> I like he that. Was, uh, you know, he was really running, good in Hannibal as well. Running, jumping, climbing trees, <laughs> putting on makeup when you're up there. <laughs> uh, I gotta watch that now. Livonian Order has entered a military coalition against Northern Lion. That's probably fair. Yeah. I, I now own all of Denmark as well. They still can't do anything. Like, your coalition's not like mine. Mathis might get re coalitioned soon. With some pretty imposing people, actually. I suspect there's a lot of uh, truces so? going on. Well, I guess Ashanti's your ally still, right? Correct. Because they would so join. If they, if you like, made... If you pissed them off somehow, they would... I'm trying to be very careful with them. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you that would be it. That would be the uh, what, what tips the scales. No, oh, they're my friends still. They still have a big heart next to their number. So There you go. How do you lower military... Or, sorry, liberty desire? Opinion is one of the best ways. Mm -hmm. And having a bit bigger military. Oh, well, all right. And also diplomatic technology, which I currently suffer from a bit. Okay, thank you. I have to halt it on like my military tech. I'm, it's like a plus 90% for paying to upgrade. Good Someone time to take a military idea. I can't take another idea yet. I have to wait until my next admin tech. Yeah! Canada! HRE! Canada. It's I like the flag for Canada, too. It's awesome. It's quite nice. I'm with you. Alright, religious idea group. Bam. I got a lot of stuff to convert. And it's never going to stop. Yeah, keep rolling nines. Because I don't quit. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down, man. It's hard to manage an empire this size. Sort of. Oh, fucking, are you serious? I don't want to do anything more. I don't want to grow my coalition right now, so... Just gonna sit tight. Let everything get better. Maybe build some more buildings. I like that. Ooh, I, that's right. I've unlocked training fields. Excellent. I'm just glad that I actually have make make money now. Like that's good. Not living off that trust fund Daddy gave you. <laughs> yeah, you know, trust fund has been depleted. <laughs> I spent a lot of it on becoming the uh, what's it called? The guy. Defender of the faith. Yeah, 500 ducats goes by quick. Arumbia will seed Algarve and Alentejo. Oh, that, yeah, that, yeah. that could be me. Could, could have they still have Lisboa, though. They do. I wonder if they'll move man. their capital. You would have put up a better fight than they did. Just, yeah, I would have scorched the earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. 
really. There's not much else you can do. God damn. They are just going to be a full Iberia. Look at Spain that. plus Portugal plus a little bit of France. Look at that. Miami became Protestant. Oh, that's cool. Why did they do that? Did they get my damn Center of Reformation? I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to find it one of these days. I'm no. going to find that Center of Reformation. But it's definitely spreading. There's actually a lot of Protestantism all over the place. I don't see a symbol. Like, I saw one... I saw, like, there's many symbols. Protestant and Protestant. Yeah. But that's all in Europe. Maybe the overseas people have, a like, a random chance of converting over, or... It might be because they were westernizing off me. That they just, like, have an event to embrace... They're still westernizing. They haven't actually succeeded. They're actually failing. Sense. Miami noble rebels. I think they're going to fail their westernization. I really like the overseas people. Like the people from across the sea. It's like a 50s sci-fi movie. <laughs> 1450s, I guess. That's all right. Take as long as you need, guys. I'm good whenever. I'm fine. Go? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, no, everything is awesome I just, here. Like it's I need like another minute, soon, but that's okay. Everything is awesome. <laughs> now I need like another minute. Oh, all right. Well, when you were the, the one that brought it up, man. Yeah, was, uh, that's the joke, man. God damn. Okay. Oh. You need to make sure they remember where we're going to be in two weeks. Two, fuck off two weeks. Don't get people <laughs> thinking that's going to be two weeks again. <laughs> it's That's our schedule, right? It's every two weeks we get together. For one mm -hmm. week of recording. Yeah. <laughs> there that's should the, be videos every day. The math is schedule. Who oh knows my what's going to happen? God. <laughs> I quit. See? I was going to take two weeks. we got to convince him to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Just replace me. That. I'm good if you guys are good. All right, I'm good. I need a second. Oh my god, fine. I'm just gonna march my army and take care of these <laughs> rebels. Then might as well. No, I'm just kidding. I'm good. I'm, I'm too late now. Now I'm gonna wait and see how this fight goes. So, suck it. <laughs> I don't want to suck it, but you will. <laughs> Rude. Uh, you're terrible. All right. Well, now give me 15 days because I don't want to forget to take a diplomatic action that I'm about to do. Stop rolling eights and nines, you goddamn enemy. Oh my god, sure, I'll roll a zero, because it's a zero on this dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Yeah, the, the zero, the existence dice. of it is just, like, mind-crushing. It just hurts. Like, could we just make it a one to ten instead of a zero to nine? It would be less painful. Right? Thanks. All right, I'm good now. Now we're waiting on Quill. All right, no, I'm good. All right. Okay. Sweet, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Now, and of course, subscribe and uh, check out the multiple perspectives if it's the most definitive way for you to watch the episodes. Well, that would be cool. Oh, we're so... If we could just go for like another year, I would totally catch Holland. But in any case... <laughs> Make sure you watch the definitive edition. Yeah, exactly. The, the Criterion Collection. We should be back tomorrow with another episode. You watch our Twitter accounts to see if anything about that has changed. But for now, thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.